Hi, welcome to another IELTS essay writing video. This past week I received an email from someone who was having trouble understanding a sample essay question that they had read in a textbook. And I thought that uh, today we could look at this essay question together, decide what style of essay to write, and write the entire essay from start to finish. So we can just analyze the whole process. Now if we look at the essay question. The question reads, some people prefer to eat at food stands or restaurants. Other people prefer to prepare and eat food at home. Which do you prefer? Use specific examples, specific reasons and examples to support your answer. When we first look at this question, we see at the beginning here two points of view. Firstly, it says some people prefer to eat uh, at food stands or restaurants, and then the second point of view is other people prefer to prepare and eat food at home. Uh, and I know that when we see this initially, maybe our reaction is, oh, we need to write a discussion essay about this because this is presenting two points of view. But it's not actually the content portion of the question that's important in deciding your essay style, it's the question itself. And if we look at the question itself, it says, which do you prefer? And which do you prefer? This is asking us for our personal opinion. It's not asking us to analyze the opinions of other people, or it's not asking us to discuss uh, the thoughts or beliefs of uh, other groups of people. It's asking us for our specific opinion. And the, the best way to give our specific opinion is in an argument essay, not so much in a, in a discussion essay. So when we see this question, then we know that uh, our, our, um, our best... Uh, we'd be best to write it as a, an argument essay style. So now if we just um, maybe go over the breakdown of an argument essay. So an argument essay starts with an introduction paragraph. It has two supporting paragraphs. And it has a conclusion paragraph. And in each paragraph there are sentences and the sentences have jobs to do. Now if we take these away for now and we'll start with our introduction paragraph. I'll just put the question back up here so we can make sure that we're analyzing it. So now we know in the introduction paragraph we need a background sentence. We need a detailed background sentence. We need our thesis, very important, the main idea of our essay. And finally we need an outline sentence which tells uh, what points of view I'm sorry, which tells what the supporting paragraph 1 and the supporting paragraph 2 are going to talk about. Okay, so in the introduction paragraph, we'll have four sentences. I'm just going to take this away and we'll write the four sentences together. So based on this question, uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to give some background information. And... Um, and if we look at the question, well, it's talking about food, and it's talking about restaurants, and it's talking about uh, opinions about food. So perhaps our, our first sentence would be something along the lines of uh, opinions. Let's bring that font up. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, opinions. So opinions um, on food vary uh, tremendously. Opinions on food vary tremendously as does an individual's individual's culinary skill. If culinary perhaps is a new word for you. It's uh, anything to do with cooking. Now the second sentence is a more uh, detailed, uh, um, it, it provides more detail about the first sentence. So we might want to state then the two points of view that are, that are given in our question. So we might say something along the lines of thus, uh, some people enjoy, or it doesn't matter, but like, to eat out, while others prefer to stay at home, to stay at home and cook for themselves.
So this is our background sentence, our detailed background sentence. And in the third sentence, we state our thesis. And our thesis has to respond directly to our essay question. And it's my recommendation to you to actually pull words right out of your question and use them in your thesis, because that will show the, um, the direct link between what your thought is and the entire essay's connection to the question. So uh, here the question is saying, which do you prefer? So we might say something like, for me, prefer to go uh, to and so food stands or restaurants as opposed to preparing food at home. Okay, for me, I prefer to go to food stands or restaurants as opposed to preparing food at home. So, uh, now this has answered our essay question directly. Our question is, which do you prefer? So someone who's reading this essay, well, there's no question in their mind what, what our opinion is. Our opinion is that we like to go to restaurants. We don't like to stay at home and cook. Okay, and then finally, the last sentence in your introduction paragraph states the, uh, the areas that you're going to use to support your thesis. Uh, and before I started recording this video, I kind of had to think about uh, some areas I thought would support the idea of going to a restaurant instead of cooking food at home. And I thought that one area could be convenience, because going to a restaurant is much more convenient than cooking food in your house. And another area, I thought, uh, might be that a restaurant food, restaurant food is has a better taste, or tastes better, than, uh, than cooking uh, for yourself at home. So we would want to state these, these two uh, um, supporting reasons in our outline sentence, which is the fourth sentence of our introduction. We'll state that here. Okay, so, uh, so perhaps eating in this manner is both more convenient and tastier. And I will analyze these areas in my essay. Okay, so if we read the uh, introductory paragraph together, opinions on food vary tremendously, as does an individual's culinary skill. Thus, some people like to eat out while others prefer to stay at home and cook for themselves. For me, I prefer to go to food stands or restaurants as opposed to preparing food at home. Eating in this manner is both mo more convenient and tastier and I will analyze these areas in my essay. So this is an effective introductory paragraph because it firstly gives us some background information about what we're talking about. It secondly states directly what our point of view is, which is the thesis. For me, I prefer to go to food stands or restaurants as opposed to preparing food at home. Thirdly, it uh, tells exactly the areas that we will analyze in the essay. So just by reading this introductory paragraph, we know exactly what the rest of the essay is going to look like.